they've been advising everyone not to really do any outdoor activities right now. And it shows us in this like slightly green pocket. It is 10 o'clock at night right now. And you've been hard at work back here. You see a unicorn? <laughs> She's so close to you. Bitch and I. We're Brittany and Drew, and we've been exploring the world by van for the past six years now. And this is our home, Spirit. So click subscribe and let's see where this wild and wonderful adventure takes us all. Let's take in a deep breath and let it out. And now it's time to enjoy the show. Good morning from an apiary. See all those little boxes out there? Those are sweet little honeybees. And over here is my sweet honeybee. <laughs> is this what Van grooming is like? Using your reflection in the window? Perfect mirror. <laughs> what is going on? What? That's a white hair. No. No. Crazy. You may not be the fairest of them all anymore. <laughs> but the most kindly of them all. Yes. Right now we're in the town of Squim, which I like to call Sequim, but it's on the north side of Olympic National Park, which was the 21st national park added to the system. And there are so many different ecosystems and ways to approach this national park. We both can't wait. Although right now there's quite a bit of smoke in the air. It's about a 200 smoke index. We went on a little hike yesterday with our friends Frankie and Alex. We hiked almost 13 miles, over 3,000 feet of elevation gain, and we couldn't see a thing. We didn't even know if we were like two feet off the ground. We're really hoping that it clears up. But the couple who let us stay here on the apiary were so, so sweet. And I think they even left us a little surprise. I think it's for us. <laughs> I'd hope so. We're the only ones here. It says for you guys. For you guys. <laughs> this snowberry rose honey was extracted for the hive on this land. Have safe travels, Meg and Buddy. Buddy. Oh my goodness. Snowberry rose honey. That's so, so thoughtful. You guys are so sweet. Thank so you guys. sweet. And especially for the safe place to park last night. We really liked waking up just on a, a farm. It's a little bit hard trying to figure out where to park around Olympic. Yeah. A lot of the campgrounds are full and yeah. this was so peaceful and we have the birds. And look, you can even see the sun a little bit through the snow. Oh yeah, all the way right up there. To the bees. To the bees. How close can we get? Close as they'll let us. I hope the bees aren't affected too much by the wildfire smoke. Me too. Did you bring your hazmat suit and your beekeepers gear? Nope. Look at them all there. Luckily, neither of us is allergic to bee stings, so we're good. But there's so many around here. Busy bees on a Sunday morning. Gathering pollen. Clean. I love that they're making this in those boxes naturally. And we get to eat it on this land. That's great. What better way to like get Wake a taste up. of Olympic. <laughs> hey, you smell something good on there? Clicking some pollen off my leg. <laughs> also, I'm loving the look of our van next to a little red barn. Wow, this barn is beautiful. Oh, they're so cute. You know what time it is. Time for that honey. Ooh, Ooh doggies. Oh man, it smells so good. Honey bread. Give us another dollop. Fresh from the farm. After enjoying a lovely morning with our buzzy little bee friends, it was time for us to move on, and Drew had worked up an appetite again. So off to one of the most famous burger joints in town. Very excited for this. We've heard a lot about frugals. Babe, are we gonna be able to make that? 
feels so tight and close. Luckily, we're only 9-3, even with the roof deck and hatches. While we wait in line, I'm probably gonna go in the back and sizzle up some broccoli and olive oil. Very exciting. Oh yeah. But while we wait, we're gonna let you guys enjoy a few words about the wonderful sponsor of today's episode. Jackery, portable power units that are solar powered and really great for van life. First time cooking rice in the Instant Pot. Super stoked because it's been a little bit foggy, well, really foggy and smoky for the past few days. Our batteries and solar have not been charging that well. So we are extremely grateful that we have our Jackery here. We call it our reserve fuel tank, yep. right? It's like having an extra can of gas around. Yeah. So when we don't have power in the bank, we got power in this <laughs> tank. We love this little guy. Whether using a Jackery unit for supplemental purposes like us, or as your main power source when car camping. You can click on the link below to learn more and get a Jackery unit to help you stay powered on all your adventures. Now, how was that rice doing? Mmm. I don't think I've cooked such nice, normal looking rice ever. Get excited. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> I'll have a bacon cheeseburger. A uh, regular fry and a small strawberry shake. Alright, that comes with a 1014. Alright, thank you. Yep. Something that I want to point out, this is the double drive-thru. Drive-thru on both sides. It looks like an Airstream. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize that it was You're on all good. this side. <laughs> oh. Thanks, man. You're very welcome. She takes good care of me. I try. Make sure that I hit up all the best places in town. Look, I love how it says thank you for coming. In, in different languages. Yeah. Is your broccoli okay on the burner back there? Oh, right, don't pull into the road yet. Hurry, other people are coming behind us. Okay, get the Fast, phone. go! That guy must have just got some frugals too. He oh, is yeah. damn it. He definitely had a strawberry lunch. <laughs> Mm. Better than a milkshake. <laughs> Found it. Boom. I'm a cheap date. <laughs> We're at the visitor center, but they just have a little station out front. I don't think we can go inside, but at least we can get a map. We can get a map. And find out what trails are open. Let's go. <laughs> Hey! How you doing? We were just wondering, when it comes to going up to Hurricane Ridge, mm -hmm. is Hurricane Hill the best hike to do up there? It is, but we're not recommending any kind of activity, uh, like exercise or anything in this sort of smoke. We might get some rain tomorrow, Yeah. Which could help out some. You know, it's, it's hard to say. Gotcha, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we hope so. Right around here, there's a place called Five Mile Island. Okay. So you can hike there and back and do a 10 mile day Ooh. if the weather's better. Which is an ideal better. day length. Yeah. It's, it's all pretty much flat first and second are all closed and it's on the Quillute Indian Reservation. Okay. They've been closed up since mid-March. Right. Okay. So we're gonna hunker down in this campground along Hurricane Ridge and hope that the weather and the smoke clears up over the next day. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so fingers crossed that we'll be able to explore the top of Hurricane Ridge with you all and see some amazing views because right now that's not happening. But I think it will. I think it will be better. It's been raining all day. But I wanted to show you. This is called Air Visuals. It's an app and it shows us in this like slightly green pocket. But I just love this app. It's really beautiful to watch. Really praying for all those parts that are so purple and dark down there in the middle. That's all of our stuff from the garage. It's hanging out under a tarp out there. And I am sheltering from the rain in our garage. So today I was working on a van project and that's our power management system. I upgraded our old solar controller to a DC to DC all in one charger that connects the starter and alternator of the van to charge the house batteries along with the solar panels 
and had to just rewire, reconfigure, put new lugs on the wires. So this way we shouldn't have any more power management issues. Our batteries before just weren't getting topped all the way up, up into the 14 volts. And hopefully this change and all the time I've spent doing this today will get us there. But it is nice to stay dry in the garage. It feels like you should just be hanging out in the garage on a rainy day like this. Got my favorite shirt on these days. Wanted to show you guys my new recipe attempt tonight. This is a gut friendly carrot bread recipe. So it has walnuts, almond flour, coconut flour, two eggs, and carrots. Update from the kitchen. Kale. Whoa, baked seedy. And let's see how my carrot loaf is doing. Ooh, that's really turning out nice. It is 10 o'clock at night right now. And you've been hard at work back here? Yeah, it's about three hours of maintaining the van and figuring out what I thought was gonna be an upgrade to our power system and switching out the power controller to an issue with the charger not working from the power that we're tied in over there on the 110 volt to our water pump going out. And I thought it was a fuse blown for the pump because Brittany was cooking, couldn't even do the dishes or get any water but it was a pressure related issue and luckily I could get my screwdrivers in here. So when you're building your van, pro tip is think about how tight things might be because things will break, things will not work, and you will have late nights in the garage <laughs> while your wife is like, I'm tired, wants to go to bed. Aw, you're working hard. Yeah. I'm glad you put in safeties for the water. So yeah, I don't... really thought we were gonna have to replace this pump, the SureFlow pump, but it's working again. Thank We're goodness. We're gonna have water soon enough. Ah, uh, when can we sleep? I look forward <laughs> to brushing my teeth with running water tonight. Yes. And I gotta put everything back in its home in the garage. Thanks for your hard work. Look at all this stuff, guys. All right, it's a late night here at the parking lot. <laughs> See you tomorrow. It is a brand new day. And it's a little bit clearer today. It is. We're gonna go up to Hurricane Ridge, which is the second most popular spot in the park. Yeah. The number one spot just being the Ho Rainforest, which we're hoping to go explore in next week's episode. A lot of you guys have written in the comments over the last weeks and months that we have to go to the Ho Rainforest. So it is coming ah. up soon, probably next episode. Can't wait. But right now we have about 5,000 feet to climb yeah. on the Hurricane Ridge Road. So. I actually climbed that on my road bike the other day, which was an epic ride. It's just the beginning of my descent down. Woohoo! 12.2 miles, yeah. From our campground. Yep. Wild. So. All right, we're going to take you guys with us. Let's onwards go. and way upwards. Way, way upwards. Way, way upwards. <laughs> It's hard to tell the difference between fog and smoke out here these days. Whoa, look at that. That's definitely Whoa. fog. I'm really hoping that when we're at the top of Hurricane Ridge, we're above the clouds because that's one of the most magical sights ever where the clouds are below you and it's just blue sunny skies. Fingers crossed. Well, we've arrived. But unfortunately, the clouds are still here too. It is very cloudy, caked in, forest fires, marine layer, everything that prevents visibility. Bummer. But I think we're gonna do a little hike around here anyway, see what we see, and then maybe visit one of the cute little port towns down below, but. I miss bluebird days. Me too. We do well when we're in sunny weather. Drew and I are definitely endless summer kinds of people. You can certainly know that we loved living in Southern California because it was abundant sunshine. Every day, like all the time. This is what you'd see on a clear day. Okay, so we can see 
some things, some yeah. ridges. Some silhouettes. Yeah. The Elwha River Valley and the Lillian River Valley. And if you were to look over to the right a little bit, you'd have Mount Olympus. And then we'll show you on the other board, two glaciers right here. You can imagine it now. <laughs> Here's a difference of one of the most famous glaciers in the park, Lillian Glacier in 1905, and how much it's been receding up until this last decade. I can't even wow. see it. Yeah, it's basically right in there, but you can't see it today. When I was up here on my bike the other day, I had a nice clear shot. We found a really interesting map. So I heard about this, but what I love about this map is that it shows where each of the tribes live, but there are eight native tribes that still live in the Olympic National Forest or National Park, yeah. at least on the outskirts. So Let's it's see. really interesting. We're not gonna pronounce these. I can't say any of their names, but there you go. We found it fascinating to learn that Olympic is the traditional homeland of more Native American groups than any other national park in the world. I was so stoked to see this visitor center open because we get to give postcards for our patrons. You guys know. I like the starry night over the mountains. Me too. Yeah, it's creative. At least it's just moderate. Yeah, it isn't as bad as it might seem. It smells a little smoky, but we talked to the ranger and they gave us a thumbs up for a cool hike. Clahaney Ridge, here we come. She's so close to you. They're making funny sounds. They are. Oh, she's cleaning his ears. <laughs> Surrounded. Surrounded with new friends. Oh dear. I've opted for my pink shades today, hoping that it will add some color to these white skies. But you know, surprisingly, it's actually clearing up a little bit. Yeah, the sun's peeking. I yeah. see some blue. I see a little bit of blue. And this is where we are. We are here, so we're gonna do this, a little bit of that, and then we're gonna head on over to the Clahaney Ridge Trail that the ranger recommended. And it says, a short spur trail to Sunrise Point adds views of Canada. Oh. Which will be really close to where we're going. You see that little nubular? That's called unicorn horn. Isn't that fun? Rainbows and unicorns. And little fairies. <laughs> no, I got nothing more. Oh. <laughs> Just taking it all in. Hmm. One view at a time. <sighs> you see a unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're going to have me look in the whole four miles one way. <laughs> a little ski chalet. This is one of the few national parks where you can actually ski. They have winter sports. Yeah, winter sports. Snowshoeing, snowboarding, skiing. Would you be up for winter camping up here? This feels like winter camping right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have goosebumps, but I'm like trying to be strong. <laughs> I'm still rocking shorts. Not you. <laughs> Especially with this weather, it's making it feel a little bit nippier. A little bit. And what do we got here? Wow. This, this is the old ski lift. Oh, cool. Wow. I don't think it's operating anymore. And there's the road we drove in on. You can see another van going down it. Well, we made it to our peak for the day. We did. We could continue all the way up that thing, but without epic views kind of luring us over there. Yeah. We're both feeling a little bit wiped in this white weather. Usually it's like the bait being dangled out in front of the fish where it's like, ooh, if we just go a little bit farther, we'll see that thing. Or we can see into Canada, or we can see just like the most epic more things, or maybe there'll be some wild animals. And we're just not feeling the bait today. I think we're just gonna call it easy and enjoy our conversation on the trail. Maybe that's a blessing in this, that it's yeah. getting us to kind of just chillax a little bit more. Maybe it's not meant to be that we're sucking and huffing so much smoke in our lungs. Yep, but you can see a ridge. See that ridge out in the distance here? That's new, that's exciting. Very exciting. Look at that sun. 
I want everyone to know that they don't need pink sunglasses like you because the sun's giving off this orangish pink glow today out there. <laughs> yeah, it looks especially pink to me. Look at how cute he is. He's eating some, some grass. He's so cute. Gotta say, pretty sad. We didn't get to enjoy the views from Hurricane Ridge. We were really excited to share that with you and with each other and to see the majesty of our world up here because we've heard such amazing things and Olympic is such a special place. But unfortunately, what we mostly get to experience is the effects of fire, you know, the smoke. But it just keeps getting more caked and caked in. It's beautiful in its own mysterious way. I know we can appreciate that, but... We're pretty lucky to get all those blue sunny days that we've had in the Pacific Northwest throughout the last weeks and months. And hey, we can see our trail right up there traversing the ridge. And there's something that gray weather does to the soul. It like lets you relax a bit more. So it's like, eh, it's okay if you didn't want to keep hiking. It's I feel a... like I could just be home reading a book. Yeah, which actually sounds pretty nice right now. All right, well, See you later. Have you been waiting on hold for a while? Yeah, I'm talking to the manufacturer of our smoke alarm because last night we were woke up because it keeps chirping and we can't get it to stop because it has a built-in battery. So it looks like they're gonna issue a new one. And what was so funny about this conversation and hilarious, <laughs> she asked me where in the home is the smoke detector located? I looked around and thought, the living room. We both looked at each other and we're like, uh, the oh, living room? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the weather out here today, guys. No bueno. No bueno for adventures. But you want to know what makes it all better? Brittany just came back from the grocery store with pizza! Pizza night! Heaven <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian. Since Drew revealed that tonight was pizza night! You're not filming me. Pizza night! We gotta show you what we got. Here's Drew's Hawaiian. Go. We kinda cheated and bought a pre-made one. Happens. And then there's mine. That's a cauliflower crust. And then there's Parmesan cheese, broccoli, mushrooms, onions. I saw you cutting all those toppings so intentionally. There you go. A few more minutes. Wish we could send you the hot oven smell of our pizzas. Be sure to join us next week as we go and explore the incredible Ho Rainforest. Mmm. Mmm. Pizza night! Mmm. Mmm. Good night. See you Good night, guys.